Todd, Chris Lee tweeted a video of gospel artist Karen Peck singing Four Days Late on Monday night, which was later deleted on Tuesday. He is always on time. He captioned the video, adding the hashtag hashtag fight the good fight. Todd Chris Lee appears to be trying to maintain his faith as he reported to federal prison, where he was scheduled to check in on Tuesday. Before his check-in time, the Chris Lee Knows Best star sent a quick message to his admirers, encouraging them to fight the good fight despite the 12 years he is slated to serve. Todd Chris Lee and his wife, Julie Chris Lee, have finally turned themselves in to begin completing their lengthy jail sentences. Todd arrived at FPC Pensacola in Florida on Tuesday, fulfilling his deadline to report to the minimum security prison camp where he's been sentenced to 12 years. Meanwhile, Julie, who was sentenced to seven years in jail, reported to the Federal Medical Center Lexington in Lexington. This couple is in prison after being convicted of bank fraud and tax evasion. A judge sentenced them to 19 years in prison in November, with Julie receiving a seven-year sentence and Todd receiving a 12-year sentence. You know, I get so many requests every day, people saying, Todd, when are you coming out of the closet? Let me tell you why I don't come out of the closet, or better yet, let me show you why. Why would I come out of my closet, my cocoon, the place that I feel the safest? I also get asked every day, Todd, what is the secret for you and Julie? What keeps the fire alive after all of these years? Well, you know, in a marriage, you have to spice things up. You have to be able to sometimes bring extra things in to keep it creative. So let me show you what makes it work. This is not for children. This right here is what keeps Julie. Todd, who has always exuded a diva-like image, will be sentenced to 365 days in jail garb consisting of green slacks, green shirts, white socks, and black steel-toed boots. He'll also be subject to the joint's rigid daily routine, which begins at 4.45 a.m. daily. Breakfast is served from 5 to 6, and each convict makes their military bed style by 6.30, ensuring their chambers are pristine. The strict schedule may tax him, but cleanliness will not be an issue for the self-proclaimed germaphobe. This must be one of the reasons Todd and his wife earlier submitted requests for bail awaiting an appeal. But the judge dismissed their plea, and they are now completing their prison sentences as scheduled. Todd was scheduled to report at minimum security at PC Pensacola in Florida on January 17, according to documents acquired by TMZ, and he did arrive in a Range Rover with a pillow over his face. He'll then put on his uniform, which consists of green slacks, green shirts, white socks, and black steel-toed boots. His workday will begin at 7.30 a.m. and end between 3 and 5 p.m. Aside from reality television, which he obviously cannot do inside prison, Todd may work as a cook, plumber, librarian, landscape worker, dishwasher, or laundry worker while inside. He'll be served lunch at 11 a.m., followed by dinner from 4.30 to 5.30 p.m., and mail call until 8.30 p.m. The property then closes shortly after, and the lights go out at 10.30 p.m. Todd's facility offers a variety of activities, including softball, flag football, basketball, soccer, and volleyball. Weight training, music, hobby crafts like art or woodworking, and horseshoes are also available to him and his convicts. In terms of visiting hours, he'll be confined to no more than five individuals at a time per prison policy. According to the Bureau of Prisons, family members will be permitted to visit, and the couple may be permitted to interact with each other via phone calls and email with the agreement of prison staff. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Northern District of Georgia, the pair will each spend three years of supervised release following their individual prison sentences. We all remember when the Christie family first appeared on the reality scene in 2014 with USA Network's Christie Knows Best, where they were the southern blonde answer to the Kardashians, affluent and exceedingly close, with a sprinkling of bless your heart attitude. Okay, yeah, and it's uh -huh. like, it's, it's always, chased. can I stay out until 12 o'clock? And I said, no, because there ain't nothing open at 12 o'clock except an ER and legs, and you ain't gonna be signing up either. Todd Christie, his wife Julie, and their three children, Chase, Savannah, and Grayson, were present, as were Todd's children from an earlier marriage, Lindsay and Kyle. Todd Christie, the affluent, controlling but endearing father boasted about the money he allegedly gained in real estate in an early trailer for the show. He was quick to point out that his family resided in a gated enclave outside of Atlanta, next door to former Brave star Chipper Jones and musician Usher. According to reports, the family spends more than $300,000 a year on clothing alone. 
I try to keep everything in order and in line. I have a certain level of expectations for my children, for my wife, for myself, Chris Lee, now 53, said in the promo. Todd and Julie were found guilty of bank fraud and tax evasion in a stunning trial last spring, shattering the family's rich facade. The prosecutor noted in a sentencing document, the Chrisleys have built an empire based on the lie that their wealth came from dedication and hard work. The memorandum went on to say, the jury's unanimous verdict sets the record straight. Todd and Julie Chrisley are career swindlers who have made a living by jumping from one fraud scheme to another, lying to banks, stiffing vendors, and evading taxes at every corner. The pair had humble, wholesome origins before their thirst for fame and money. They were both from rural Westminster, South Carolina, and their financial problems began long before they had a TV program. Chrisley filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy in 2012, listing $4.2 million in assets and $49.4 million in debt. He claimed to have only $55 in his checking account and $100 in cash at the time. In 2014, his attorney Robert Furr told people that Todd Chrisley had guaranteed a real estate development loan, and it failed. He was on the hook for $30 million. If he hadn't had that happen, he would have been fine financially. Despite the financial difficulties, the pair proceeded with reality stardom. The Chrisley show was already in its fourth season by the end of 2016, and the clan's profile was rising so much so that security fears drove them to relocate to Nashville. In Nashville, they spent over $9 million on two mansions and continued to drive expensive automobiles as their children became podcasters and Instagram influencers with millions of followers. They continued to live luxuriously despite the fact that they had to transfer money from one family member to another in order to avoid paying taxes. Savannah and Chase Chrisley grew up so much that they began their own spin-off, Growing Up Chrisley, in 2019. It lasted four seasons until Todd and Julie were convicted when both it and Chrisley Knows Best were unceremoniously discontinued. The Chrisleys were finally apprehended and sentenced after Todd's ex-business partner Mark Braddock provided the police's account on the years of tax fraud offenses the two had perpetrated. Despite being a member of them, Mark was granted immunity in exchange for telling the police everything. Todd was sentenced to 12 years in jail at Florida's FPC Pensacola, while Julie, who was supposed to report to FCI Marion SCP in Florida, will now spend seven years at the Federal Medical Center Lexington in Lexington, Kentucky. It's still confinement, but a camp is the best place to be, veteran defense attorney Paul Cambria told People. They're almost like a college dormitory situation. There are usually no fences or barbed wire or things like that. There's obviously monitors and cameras and so on, but it is a fairly relaxed atmosphere. In comparison to other jails, Todd and Julie will be given more freedom and will be able to walk around the campus, so to speak, according to Cambria. It isn't like they're locked in a cell. The trial also shattered Todd's reputation as a dedicated family man. His entire business is built around him and his family, so when Mark Braddock testified that he and Todd were intimate for about a year in the early 2000s, it harmed his already tarnished reputation even more. Chrisley has rejected the claims that Braddock looked like a toad. What irritated me the most was that, after 54 years, for me to finally be accused of being with a man, it would be someone who looked like Mark Braddock, Todd remarked on a recent edition of his podcast Chrisley Confessions. One Twitter user commented, A Todd Chrisley and a Julie Chris Lyon have reported to prison. They need to quit their whining and accept their sentence. Hashtag do the crime do the time. Savannah, Chase and the others, including at Nanafea Chrisley, need them to show that people can act responsibly. They should be remorseful. Another dug in, saying, on his first day in prison, Todd Chrisley is gonna step up to the biggest, baddest guy in the yard and surgically pick apart his style. And that's it from us today. Until next time, bye.